Hello beautiful collective and welcome to your general reading. So today we're going to be seeing what is coming towards you, family, lover, friend or foe. Please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa. If you'd like to book a personal or purchase anything, all the information is in the description box below. Okay, so let's start off with a message, guys. Let's see what is coming towards you. What does the universe want you to know? What is important? Oh, oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? Oh, okay. So we have finish line that wanted to come out. Okay, marathon. And then we have deep knowing at the bottom of the deck, okay? So I feel like there's something that you, you're trying to complete. Or maybe you're trying to figure out what you want to do next, what's really going on. You're trying to follow your intuition here. You will complete something. You will be successful. I'm hearing to just keep going and don't stop. Even if the only thing that's guiding you is your intuition, you just know something is going to work in your favor. Or you just know where you're going. You just understand something. You have a deep inner knowing, okay? So... I'm hearing to trust yourself. Now, there could be somebody else as well that has a deep inner knowing about something. So if you're thinking, okay, was this person trying to share? Are they right? What's really going on? I feel like the universe is saying you can trust this person because they're just connected. Okay, so gorgeous energy. So let's just see. But I thought I'm seeing that you're going to complete something. This could be like a, you could actually be running a marathon, okay? But I'm just getting like a marathon of life. Like you're just doing something for a very long time or you've been um, striving or persisting or persevering, should I say. And it's like you're finally at the end. You're finally like, oh, yes. You know what I mean? I'm just hearing you're so close. So let's just see where this is going. <clears throat> Okay, what do we have? We have heart and fear that wanted to come out and then burdens at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so I feel like it's been a heavy burden. There's a lot going on. I feel like you're afraid. You're afraid to follow your heart because you just don't know, but it's saying it's okay. There is no fear. Release, release fear because fear itself is a burden. Okay, but let's just get one card because we don't want too many energies. Yeah, we have spirit, which says I am filled with light. Change me, divine beloved, into one who knows my spirit is eternal and ageless. Let me release any old ideas of constriction or limitation. My whole being is filled with joy, energy, and beauty. A vessel for the divine Shakti. Exactly. Beautiful energy. So follow your divine path. Like I said, somebody here has got like a deep connection to spirit, a deep inner knowing. So don't limit yourself. Don't stop telling yourself that you can't do something, that you can't complete something, that you're not going to get to where you want to get to because you're going to, okay? You could have a really good spiritual guide as well. This is really good at what they do and what they say and everything they say comes into fruition. You're just like, yes, but I'm just getting that this is something to do with you. You need to connect with your inner God. Yeah, then we have burdens that wanted to come up again. It says, I accept your help. So I'm getting you need to accept help from spirit, but how to connect through spirit is to connect through oneself. This is the whole purpose of us opening up our chakras so that we can come into alignment with the frequencies of the universe so the universe can talk to us. You understand? So trust yourself. Look out in nature. That's how the universe communicates. In order to connect with the creator, you need to connect with the creator's creations. That's the trees, that's earth, that's the birds, that's the, the, um, the plants. That's your environment. That's the sky. How are you feeling? And when you look up in the sky, what do you see? Are you in a very emotional mood and all of a sudden it starts raining? Or have you thought of a great idea and all of a sudden it starts lightning? Or you look out the window, you just hear a voice, go look out the window, you see a rainbow. You know, you need to pay attention to your environment because spirit is trying to communicate with you. Okay? So yeah, with the burdens, it says, change me, divine beloved, into one who gratefully receives all help you send. Let me release the useless idea that I must carry the burden alone. Let me trust that you send the right assistance. May I feel worthy and accept it. Yeah. So for some of you as well, just accepting help. Because yeah, I'm getting like free spirit here. You need to let something go and just trust. Trust in the, in the knowing. Because you know, people are normally afraid of the unknown. So it, they, they, um... They become stuck. They create their own burdens and their own challenges because they just can't release things. They can't let things go or they can't accept something. Acceptance is the key, whether it's accepting a situation where it's accepting that you need help, whether it's accepting that you need divine guidance, whether it's accepting that you need somebody or, you know, free yourself from these burdens, okay? 
So, but spirit is here to guide you. So if you are feeling very burdened about something that's going on in your life, you know, spirit is like, all you need to do is call on me. Your angels are always around. You just need to communicate with them. Because people ask for signs, symbols, synchronicities, all of these things. And the universe is always showing us the signs right in front of our face. And sometimes we refuse to look at them because it's not exactly what we wanted or it's not exactly what we asked for or it's just hard for us to accept but spirit knows best you know what i mean okay you just need to understand how to um recognize when spirit is communicating with you okay now for some of you, you could have been praying or manifest for something and saying you don't need to do it anymore you finito you're done allow something allow nature to take its course Oh, okay, well, this is a lot of cards. So we have indulge that wanted to come out. It says, you deserve to be spoiled. Okay, yes, yeah, so I feel like the universe wants to spoil you. But you have to accept it. Don't be too proud. You know? Now, this could be somebody else around you that's wanting to do something with for you. Maybe somebody wants to spoil you because you've really helped them in the spiritual journey. At the bottom of the deck, we do have success which reads, give yourself a round of applause. You made it. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Exactly. You have finished and you have completed something. Maybe you had a lot of burdens with you when you was, you know, on this marathon, on this run. It's like motherfuckers behind trying to catch up, but you got to the finish. Yeah, 444. You could be seeing 444 a lot. So something to do with your stability, your foundation. So if you were burdened or stressed about anything, Understand that you're going to be very successful. Okay? You could also be telling people, you know what? I told you I was going to be a success or I told you this was going to happen because you had a deep knowing and you continue to go on regardless of what people said. Yeah, look, we have momentum and then we have in your bag underneath that. I mean, come on now. <laughs> so it's time for you to be spoiled. But like I said, understand that you are worthy of being spoiled you can overindulge if you want to you can allow somebody to give to you you can allow someone to make you feel good why the fuck not please clarify finish line yeah the knight of cups that's what i'm saying somebody's coming with that offering once you finish just like here you are here's this love here's this emotion here's whatever the fuck you want it to be yeah unconditional is at the bottom of the deck beautiful energy so for some of you, you found the lover or the partner that you seek or you found your feeling in something. And yeah, the universe is unconditional. It's infinite. It's boundless. It's limitless. Something will, it's always in constant supply. It's always recreating itself. The universe has unconditional love for you. So always remember that. Yeah, the tower. So like I said before, you know, you may feel like you may think something and then boom, it starts to rain out of nowhere. Some people associate rain with sadness, with tears. Like, you know, some people get like seasonal depression. Every time I feel like it's raining, I feel like that's when um, I connect most with spirit. I get my most downloads. I see rain as renewal, replenishment, blessings. Do you know what I mean? Being cleansed. I know my guides are talking to me when it rains. I can really tap into the frequencies and the emotions. It's like a huge sign for me. So, but rain can mean different things to different people. Then when you see them, the, the lightning strikes, you're just like, whoo, yep. Especially if you light a candle and you, you know, you're on your altar and then boom, lightning comes out of nowhere. You're just like, wow, message received. Spirit heard you. I'm getting like a brilliant idea that's gonna come out of nowhere. That's really gonna change your perspective. Cause I'm getting like a tower moment, but it's like a good tower. Yeah, you just need to be brave. Because I feel like for some of you, you could be thinking that something's not going to go your way, but it's it's going to go your way. Okay? The universe. What? Let, come on now. Was I not just talking about the universe? And who's come out to show themselves? The universe. And it's on top of indulge. So when I say the universe is going to spoil you. For some of you, you may become world renowned as well. I'm getting like a just huge success out of nowhere. Beautiful energy here. Oh, oh. <laughs> we have the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Stop it, pop it. Stop it, pop it. Heavy Pisces energy here. It could be a Scorpio or a Cancer too. Yeah, heavy Scorpio and Pisces, I see. But it could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Taurus, or a Leo. You could have significant placements. But like, like I said, did I not mention the rainbow? For some of you, you're going to see a rainbow. You're going to look out your window and you're going to see a rainbow. So I love it when it rains. Then the sun comes out. You're like, oh, well, wait a minute. The divine channels, they're calling you. 
Again, this could be your love, your happily ever after, whatever you're fantasizing about, whatever you're trying to run towards, it's there. Just keep going. You will find your own pot at the end of the tunnel. Or at the end of the rainbow, should I say. Oh, yeah, the nine of pentacles. I feel like you've been doing something independently. You know, there could have been a lot of heartbreak, a lot of betrayals going on. You know what I mean? But I'm getting that you're not going to have to do something alone anymore. But for some of, like... Everyone, the Ten of Cups is going to be different for different people because happiness, love, you know, fantasies, it's all different. But whatever the Ten of Cups means to you or, oh, sorry, whatever the Ten of Cups means to you. But this is beautiful energy. This card is so cute because it's got like, see the little kids wrapped around his legs? And the person who sent me this, they actually the one that's pointed that out to me. I didn't even realize that when I first looked at this card. So that's just so cute. So there's something cute that like is going to catch your eye. You're not even aware of it. You're not even aware of your little blessings there. But beautiful energy. If you're worried about family or anything like that, everybody's going to be okay. You're going to be okay. A very successful future, I see, or completion of something. But as long as you trust in spirit, I feel like that's the message here, okay? And then we have the witch that wanted to come out, which reads, create it lotus flower free will i wasn't always like this you know i had to create who i am and energy power aura and depletion call your energy back to you yes exactly so i feel like you've taken your power back in a situation or the universe is saying allow me to fill you up or oh, with cosmic energy it's almost like you're a vessel and you're allowing the divine to pour into you, you know? So this is really, really beautiful energy. But I feel like it took a lot for you to get here or it took a lot for you to be who you are, you know? Because as they say, we create our own realities and a lot of people don't really understand what that means, but you will. You'll understand what it means when they say that we create our own realities, so let's just pull an affirmation. Okay, so I am a I am a magician wanted to come out, and then we have I am a team player. Yeah, that's like your spiritual guys lining up to come and make the magic happen. Or this is you. And then we have um I am fun and exciting at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, and then there's that power underneath. So I feel like something exciting is gonna happen out of nowhere that you're not expecting. But you're going to get the support that you need. Your spiritual guides are here. Okay. Or well, this is people around you supporting you. Let's get a... um. Let's just get a love card as well. Because I saw a bit of love in the reading. Oh, beautiful. We have the first time. Which reads vulnerability, intimacy and butterflies. Okay. And then we have all oh, the single and ready to, ready to mingle at the bottom of the deck, which reads casual dating, new love and exchanging numbers. Yeah, maybe this is the first time that you're single or the first time that you're being vulnerable with someone or just going with the flow. Do it. OK, it's going to lead to this. So beautiful energy, man. Gorgeous. And then let's just pull one more for good luck. Let's just see. And then we have the performer. So yeah, like I said, if any of you are doing anything where you're going, like where people can see you, it's going to go well, okay? Oh, and then we have the husband that wanted to come out. So like I said, someone's coming for you. Someone's coming to take care of you or you're going to take care of something or you're going to be married into something. I'm just getting that this is a new life for you. It's the first time that you're like, it's almost like it's the first time you're actually seeing things come into fruition and maybe you just don't know how to accept that. You know, underneath that, what does it say? Honoring, I am kind and loving. But this is beautiful energy. Just remember, success has your name on it. Thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. Please do not 